after uttering a little prayer. Well, his prayers have been answered so far. Totally unimpressive in the heat. A revelation in the semi-final. Russell, four from the right, slowly out of the blocks. It's Kra who leads early on with his countryman Latin. And Russell's got a huge amount of work to do. He's not going to get there. It's going to be Kra who's going to take this title for you alongside him. In the end, Russell couldn't reproduce what he did in the semis. Marcus Kra had done nothing wrong to this point. Neither had Fruya. And they produced similar performances here. Latin it was. The second of the Americans who came through to take a medal as well. But Marcus Kra, the US champion, deposed as the world number one yesterday by Russell. Put him in his place here. A lifetime best of 13.25. You can't ask any more than that. It may not have been the fastest time in this event over the course of two days, but it was the fast time when it mattered in the final. The United States have another champion. And they have a one too, I think, Martin, as well, just as they got in that women's up 800 meters a few minutes ago. Brilliant running from Kraft, foot perfect, didn't make any mistakes, equaling his lifetime best with that victory run. And you're right, Russell will start there in that yellow Jamaica center of picture. And he looked cumbersome here, doesn't he? It's nothing like the fluency and the zip of yesterday in the semi-final. Kra, by contrast, very, very quick over the barriers. Gets that lead leg over and down so quickly back onto the track. Good running from Furio of Japan on the near side. Does he take second? Oh, it's got to be down to millimeters. But it is a one-two for the USA. Latin does take the silver for you settles for a national record or an area under 20 record in fact for asia that is and the bronze and again in the theme with men here producing and women in fact their best performances when it matter most the first three all ran the fastest races of their lives as did david zabrowski who was the first european coming through in fifth the britons were in seventh and eighth but they've done tremendously well just to make this final as uh, Kras celebrates there. Knew he'd got it right. The focus was quite masterful. Didn't make one single error. Clipping barriers is not an error in 110 meter hurdles. It happens. You can ride those barriers well, get over them. And despite the pressure being applied, and he must have been sensed for you to his right and his teammate Latin a couple of lanes, lanes to his left. There's Latin, third from right. He must have sensed that, Martin. But didn't he get a great start? He was applying pressure in his own way on the rest of them by that marvellous uh, surge out of the blocks. It's very economical sprinting, but the reality is it's the best sprinter who gets that. Fastest out of the blocks, the best through 30 metres, the best pickup. Technically, he was able to meet his speed. And he had that race sorted out by 30 or 40 metres. Latin had a couple on his way down. Buruya, well, he looked to me all over the uh, silver medalist with the hurdle to go, but he, uh, he uh, rather lost over that last barrier. But Kra, Latin, Buruya gold, silver and bronze.